what up, what up, my people? So happy Tuesday. I've been doing so much today. I got up, did the oil change, switched out my windshield wipers, took Voodoo down to get his ball snipped. He was not happy with me, you guys. And I felt so bad because I'm like a big believer and I want the animal to have what it's supposed to have on it, like what it was born with. But you got to be responsible because, you know, he's outdoors and he likes to, you know, fight with the other cats and then go around and he might be, you know, jumping on female kitties and making babies. And we can't do that because, you know, I can't do kitty cat child support. So I got to be responsible. But oh, he was not happy with me. So we'll see how he is tomorrow or Thursday when I pick him up. Now, we're going to get into the spirit messages. Oh, before we do that. Since I finished up um, the last of the 2021, like, what do you need to know for this year series, I'm going to go ahead and possibly start the monthlies Thursday, but sometime this weekend, they should be coming through. So I feel like I'm kind of moving. I'm getting a little momentum going with the readings. So um, just look out for those. They are coming and you know how it is. I, whenever I get to them is when you'll get them. Um I'm trying to think, is that it? I think that is it. So that's completed with the series and then monthlies are going to be starting soon. So spirit messages, you know how we do this. Um, cards one through six could be one card, could be three cards, could be the whole reading. Um, let spirit communicate with you, whatever your God, your guide is that you work with. Um, deities, Arisha, Lawa, whatever the message is, if they tell you a number, pick it, it may resonate with you it may not resonate with you get in where you fit in with it it's a general read all right let's see messages for my people thank you spirit all right one more time spirit what do they need to hear what is the messages for the people what's going on with card number two spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you more time spirit this is just for the people okay we got that flipped over oh we had a few of them flipped over interesting look up oh uh, look up all right i'm not gonna take all four of those because i think that tells a story but let's see let's just let's hold up you guys Fly with these cards. All right. Two more cards, Spirit. They're trying to give me a book. And they know I'm not trying to be here all day. Two more cards. Messages for the people. Two more cards, Spirit. Two more cards. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. One more time, Spirit. Messages for my people. Oh, that's a good one, too. What is it pertaining to, Spirit? All right, let's see. Confidence, strength. I like that. We're going to end it right there because I think we got everything we need. Card number six, they're trying to give y'all a book, and we're not doing it today. I'm like, no, we're not doing it. We're going to go with what we have to. I might have to go ahead and clarify card number four but we'll see when we get there card number one card number one let's get into it we have work conflict we have jealousy Woo we all right so let me tell you i have never done a reading where there was a place where there was no jealousy or envy in a workplace it, it just it's one of those things not too uncommon some of you though may be dealing with underlying issues where it's more than one person normally with the work conflict card there could be a lot of people that you may be having issues with right now, and it could be out of jealousy. I keep hearing spirits say, don't talk. Don't talk your business. Don't put too much out there, especially when you're dealing with a group of people. Some of you may be having issues where you don't even know who to trust because there's so much that's going on. So I will say if there's some pettiness in your circle, if there's some pettiness in your work environment, it's one of those things where it's time to go ahead and start using your discernment, using your, your intuition and your spirit. How does this person feel about me? They're not really vibing with me. Then maybe I don't need to be vibing with them as hard as I am. Some of you may be coming to the conclusion that people that you thought that you were cool with, you trust, you're not. If you are in an environment where your 
something is dependent on you turning in your project or you taking care of things, you make sure that you take care of it. Because with this energy, you could have people that are trying to sabotage you. They may be coming in and, and you know, you take this to the boss or you turn this in for me and then they go in and they do something to it or they put their name on it or whatever. And unfortunately, some of you might be dealing with somebody trying to steal your steam because they want to be in your place. So you may be looking at people and being like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable around you. I kind of feel like I'm getting a vibe that something is not, um, we're not vibing the way that we used to. And I don't want to continue this friendship, this work relationship or whatever. You may be vocal about it because I feel like some are, and it could be why spirit is like, watch your mouth, watch your mouth. You don't need to tell everybody everything. It's just like the people in the groups where they put that post, um, I'm leaving the group. I don't like the content of the group. This group no longer fits me. And I'm like, okay, who the fuck do they think fixing the, what they going to do? You get a party gift, you get a watch because you're leaving the group. You don't like the group, you leave the group, you leave the group silently. Most of the time, they don't even know you left. So the whole thing about it is, I think somebody was telling me five people left the group. I, I didn't see five people leave. Because I, I, that ain't what I'm looking at. So for some of you, you may be sitting up here and you may be talking about your exit, your plans and whatever. And people could be gossiping or whatever. They could be... Uh, trying to sabotage you. So I will say that if you are pulling away from people, you don't need to announce it. You don't need to broadcast it. You don't need to even make a party about it. You just need to go ahead and move on your way, focus on your goals and be great somewhere else or be great in your lane without this energy that's coming on you. All right, card number one, if you got to let them go and they're going to walk away, let them walk away. Card number two, we have the psychic and we got to assert yourself. Card number two, some of you are not standing in your power. You could be letting people get over on you. And it's almost like um, you know this. You're very intuitive. So it's not like you need me on here to tell you that people are walking on, on walking over you. Some of you already have this energy. You know it. You may be lost at what to do with it. But Spirit is saying that you need to go ahead and start getting ahead of your conflict or your problems. So... If you are very um, gifted, and this doesn't necessarily mean using um, divination tools where you're pulling cards or pendulums and things like that. Sometimes people just know. They can pick up on things. The intuitive energy is there where for some of you, you already know this energy. You already see who these people are. You already know what the manipulation is. And spirit is like, put your foot down. For some of you, this could be coworkers. A few of you, this could be friends. And some, this may even be with your family, children where it's like, I need to go ahead and get ahead of this. I need to figure out what's going on with this person, or I know that they're trying to manipulate me or play me, so I need to put my foot down. So I will say, you're going to be, I feel like this week, some of you may feel challenged. Like, I really need to kind of stand up for myself and set boundaries and actually stick with it. I feel like there's the impact energy there where it's like, I am wanting to set boundaries, but I'm not being consistent with it, which is like, oh, on Tuesday, we're not going to do this. But then Tuesday comes and you let the person do it. And they're like, mm, yeah. And then next Tuesday, we're going to do it again too. And, and the Tuesday after that. So if you are setting boundaries, you need to make sure that you follow through with it because they're not respecting your boundaries. So this could be people trying to push you to see how far they can go. And some of you, this person may already know that I can, you know, push you a little bit further than what you're comfortable with. So spirit is like, it may be this time to put your foot down. Doesn't mean scream. Doesn't mean argue with this person. It just basically means this is the line. And if you cross it, me and you got problems. I'm, I'm not going to play with you. I'm not smiling. It's not funny. If I tell you, don't touch my food, don't touch my food, touch my food again and see what happens. And be, and be serious about it. If you got to knock them in the head with a special, well, you know what? I shouldn't be promoting violence. But if it was me and I told you not to touch my shit and you touch my shit, you're going to know <laughs> that you, you don't do that again. You're going to know that. So be really careful that you are not allowing someone to cross your boundaries because you're nice or you're an empath or I feel them. They're hurting. They're damaged. I need to come in. Don't touch my shit again. It's time that you learn. It's time that you start to heal. Some of you are going to be with this energy. All right. Now, don't, if you, if you don't, my, my kids, my people used to be in a pillow thrown at them or a broom, you know, every now and then I punch Jordan in the stomach just to kind of let them know I can still, you know, I, I'm your mama and I know I'm getting old and everything, but try me because I, you know, and he let me do it. It really don't hurt him or whatever, but he know that's my little thing. So, 
If you don't normally do that with your kids, don't <laughs> don't do it. If this is not something the way you treat your husband or whatever, don't put your hands on these people. Because you got to train people in a way where they understand your energy and know that you're doing something out of love and not necessarily trying to hurt. Because I'm not promoting any type of abuse or anything like that. And I want to make that clear. So this may be putting your foot down, how you handle it in your household, with your children, with your family members, with your co-workers and things like that. Be mindful. You do not want to go jail behind it, okay? Card number three. Card number three, we got pregnancy, we got body image. Now, of course, we got two different ways we can go with this. We have somebody that literally may be finding out that they are pregnant and their stomach is going to start swelling. Um, I feel that we definitely could have some people that are excited, but with the energy that I'm getting, I feel like somebody's like, I just lost weight or I just had surgery, or I just did something to my body, and now this is changing, and it's making me feel uncomfortable. Or this could be a woman that literally, this is her first child, and she's not used to her stomach expanding, or her hips, or her breasts, or something going out. If this is a male, this could be somebody where it's like, there's some things that are happening in your body that you're not 100% comfortable with. Doesn't necessarily mean... Um, gaining weight for some this could be gaining weight losing weight but it may be showing there's something that is happening new beginnings that are coming in if this is a male this could be giving birth to a new idea of putting together some type of business or something but you feel like i need to be put together to do this to promote it if this is a woman who's not having any children or whatever this could be body modification or either you could just be putting your best foot forward so some of you are going to have some new beginnings definitely with a baby or a business that could be coming in. For some, it looks like there may be some type of modifications that are coming in. You may be looking at tummy tucks. You could be um, getting breast augmentation. Um, you could be doing something with your BBL, whatever it is, there's some type of modification that's coming in. And for some of you, there's this energy of, this is a new beginning for me. This is this is the new me. You know, I've got new cha-chas, new ta-chas, new whatever. So I do feel like if you're one of these people who have been like, I need to go ahead and modify, I've been wanting to modify, I've been waiting for the money to come in, I feel like this is moving you towards the end of February, March. So this could be income tax. Some of you might be trying to pull your money together and get this going on. All right. Card number four. Card number four, we got a person who could be coming in. Male or female, though, be careful that this person is not a player or play yet. This could be somebody that is like really smooth. They might be fine as hell. They might come in and, and make your heart go beep, 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 or a flutter, 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 whatever it is. You could be connecting with a new person. And let me be nosy. Let's look and see if we got any guidance with this person, Spirit. Let's see. Oh, hold up. Let me use this deck. Card number four. Can we clarify who this male or female is? Card... Number four, clarify spirit. Oh, god damn it. They look like they could be cute and fine, but I'm getting somebody who may be a cheater. We got a cheating man or a cheating woman, and then that is uncommitted. So you may have somebody who's coming in and gives you these good vibes, but they may have some issues where they're not completely faithful. So I would say card number four. If you're meeting someone, and you're all, we're adults. I mean, if you just want the booty, you know, go get the booty. Ain't nobody going to be looking at you. Don't nobody need to know your business if you don't talk it. Don't put it out there. Enjoy it for what it is. But don't get your heart involved because this person may not be completely um, open to a commitment. They may be coming in and saying, you know what, I like you. There's a connection. The chemistry is there. Let's do what we do. But I don't want something more. Now. That would be perfect in the real world. But unfortunately, we get people sometimes that come into our lives where it's like, you're like, I want a husband or I want a wife. And they're like, yeah, I want that too. I want a big house with a white picket fence and, you know, the kids and the person is like, yeah, I want that too. No, they don't. No, they don't. So be careful that you're not getting somebody that's doing a lot of talking because sometimes when people date, they listen to what you say. And that gives them the opening of how to get to you. If you say, oh, you know, I like chihuahuas. 
oh, I love chihuahuas. You know, I grew up and I had three or four chihuahuas. People kind of, they can figure out, they can read you by what you say, body language, words you use, things that you, even on social media. I know a lot of people that stalk people on social media and get to know them. And then when they go on a date, it's like, oh, I know your favorite color. I know your favorite kid. I know what food you like to eat because we play all these dumb ass games on Facebook, you know, that give people a lot of information about us that we don't realize that we're putting out there. Some of you could be dealing with someone that is literally playing their, I guess, playing up to what you want because they're trying to get something out of it. This person could already be in a relationship or involved. They could even be married. Um, if not, be careful that you're not really falling or moving too quickly for somebody that is really not reciprocating or giving you what you need. And that would be a one-sided relationship where you're putting in a lot of energy with someone, but they're not reciprocating it. They're talking and they're talking, but they're not following through with the plans. I want to be with you. I want to travel with you. I want to build a house with you. I want to marry you. But you're in 15 years in the game and this person is still uncommitted. And it's because they have other options or they, they're giving themselves other options. So male or female, if it doesn't feel right, if you feel like this person is coming in and they're wishy-washy, you know, they disappear, they pop back in, you know, what you doing, how you doing, I had to take a little break and now I'm back. You could be dealing with somebody that is kind of playing with other options around them. So nothing wrong with playing with this person, but if you're a person who falls in love really easily or your heart is on your sleeve, you might not want to get involved with this energy if you cannot process it. All right. Ooh, card number five, we got divorce separation. And I wonder if it has anything to do with this person coming in. Maybe you were in a relationship. Maybe this is the person in a relationship. Could be a lack of commitment. Could be somebody that's trying to step out or it could be somebody stepping out on their partner with you. I will say card number five, this is endings. This is something not working out maybe the way you wanted it, whether this ends up being a separation with a friend or be in a separation with somebody you're dating, or be in an end of a marriage. Um, some of you may be feeling a little bit fed up, like, I don't want to deal with this energy, or I don't like what you're doing anymore, or I just don't even want to play with this game with you anymore. Some of you are coming to the end of a cycle. For a few of you, Spirit is saying something with a job, so you could be walking away from something because maybe there's a falling out with a coworker or a supervisor, because I still get that energy. Some of you may have even worked with somebody or got involved with someone where there was some cheating or something that's going on. I'm getting something that was supposed to be secret that comes out that causes this. So for a few of you, if you are having some type of affair or you're dealing with someone that comes and goes and they only call you at certain times or they only come by and visit you at certain times, a few of you may be finding out that this person is in another relationship now. I will say if you have somebody that's saying, I'm going to get divorced, I'm going to get divorced, I'm going to get divorced, I will say there's an ending coming. But whenever I see this card, the scissors aren't cutting the paper all the way through. So this could be this energy of something not being 100% finished. You know, they could still go back and take that up and be like, look, you know, let's give this another chance. So until you get the final paperwork, the person is not divorced. And sometimes even when you do get the final paperwork, the person is not over that relationship. So if you're dealing with someone that is coming in and saying, oh, I'm going through a divorce, I'm going to end it. Don't get caught up too quick in that energy that they're going to come in and marry you or be with you because I'm getting somebody It's like, I'm free. Whether this is a male or a female, I'm coming out of something, I'm free, now I can date other people. And that could be why they're uncommitted because it's like now they have other options. They're not attached to anybody legally. Whether this is a male or female, be careful with your heart. All right, card number six. Card number six, we have spirit protection. We have the strength card. And then we have a woman that is confident. Now, this could be somebody who is very strong. They're feeling very um, accomplished. This is somebody who's getting their groove back, whether you're male or female. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit more um, grounded. Maybe you're feeling a little bit like you got a little pep in your step. Something's making you feel like, yes, rock with it. You know, you got that easy flow. Yes, life is not so hard right now. I kind of feel like I could dip a little bit with it and then just go back in and rock with it. You know, maybe I'm going to do a two-step. And then go back in and rock with it because your flow is in. So whether you're male or female, you may have gone through some really hard times. You may have gone through something that's challenging and you're getting this burst of 
you know, I'm gonna feel good about myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, uplift myself or something may have come into your, your energy where it's making you feel good. It's making you feel strong. You do have spirit protection over you, which means that the ancestors and maybe some goddess or goddess or deities that you work with are like, we got your back. We got your back. They could be giving you this energy. They could be, you know, be like, yeah, rock with us. You know, come on, flow with it. You feel it? Don't don't fight it. So I feel like there's this energy of somebody's waking up and things are starting to feel like it's coming in place, like it's falling in place. Like I feel good, especially um, if you've been a little bit down on yourself. You may be, you know, trimming your beard up a little bit more, ironing your shirt, you know, putting a little lipstick on. You know, doing something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel confident, and it's a good energy. Now, this is the energy for the week, but I hope for a lot of you that this continues for the rest of the year, because this is a really good energy to have, to feel confident, to feel strong, and then knowing that, you know, this is something that you've worked for. This is this is a woman that is like, look at me. Look at me. She's like, I'm bad. This is a man that's like, you know, look, I feel good. You know, I'm on top of my game. And the best part of it is, is that spirit has you. So if you've been feeling like you've been battling yourself back and forth with your ancestors, are they with me? Are they not with me? Are my spirits working with me? Are they not working with me? If you're working with, you know, your angels, your gods, your goddesses and things like that, it looks like that they really are connected to you. They could be opening up some really good doors for you to make you feel good because they're trying to up your energy. So I will say card number six, if you are on that, you know, roll with it. It's a good flow. It really is. Some of you may have sacrificed some things to get there. So it feels good. So I would say hold on to it for as long as you possibly can. For the other ones that could be dealing with jealousy and asserting themselves, this is your week to really kind of put boundaries down. Be discerning, you know, use your intuition when it comes to the people around you. You're very gifted, you know, and whether you believe in this or not, you can read people, you feel certain things, use it to your advantage. If you know that you have people that don't rock with you or don't really want to be around you or their energy is not good for you, go ahead, cut ties, be done with it. Some of you are really going to be ending things because it just doesn't feel right to you anymore. You're trying to get to that card number six energy. And why not? You deserve it. We all deserve it. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys are doing well. Please be safe. Take care of yourself. That ha This has been your spirit messages. And like I said, everything willing, I will go ahead and start the monthlies Thursday. And I think we're going to be starting with... Aquarius. Happy birthday, Aquarius. I love you guys. Happy birthday, Shishi. My black bonnet witch. <laughs>